Today on Everything Lighter, we're going to talk about Pyrex balls. Clearly, broken shards of glass are dangerous, but with vintage Pyrex, there's another risk that might not be so obvious. Lead. These old bowls are beautiful, and who doesn't like collecting old things? But they aren't safe for use in the kitchen. And if there's a mess made on the floor by one dropping, that might also be hazardous, not just because of the broken glass. But let's take a look at this from a different angle. When we use the XRF in paint mode, we can see how many micrograms per square centimeter there are. The gun has told me that there's 4.58 milligrams, or 4,580 micrograms. For reference, children shouldn't consume over 2.2 micrograms per day, and adults not over 7.7. .7. Now let's look at how much just came off onto my finger as I spray it with fluorospec. It may not show up on the camera very well, but there are clearly lines of glowing green lead in between the ridges of my fingerprint. Easily more than a daily dose for a child or an adult. Single microgram levels of lead that enter our bloodstream will be absorbed by the body in various ways depending on the age of the person and other factors like iron level, zinc level, calcium level. At any rate, it's not good. A little bit of lead may not lead to an elevated blood lead level, but it should be also avoided if possible. So let me know which one of these balls I should smash next. It's everything lead. Go check out thetechled.com and get Fluorospec today. Protect your family. Don't guess. No.